Hi, I'm doing an update on my daughter who has schizophrenia. Uh, she actually has schizoaffective disorder, which is schizophrenia and bipolar. And she has been on clozapine, or she was on clozapine, for over a year. Um, and then she decided to go off suddenly to go off all her medications, her antidepressants, everything. And um, since then, she has been um, manic, but uh, hypomanic. So um, she's always happy, in a good mood, really upbeat. Um, she was over today and was picking up the house for me and um, I drove her up to the store and she got me a soda and then she came back home we watched Tosh.0 together and she's 18 she's not living at home anymore she's living at a friend's house she's still um, being tutored two or three times a week um, I think she can do that till she's 24 or something um, and she works between three and eight hours a week at McDonald's and she likes that, likes earning her own money um, but we are going to be moving in a couple weeks we live um, in a little mountain community where it's beautiful, it's the rainforest and we love it here but it's limiting um, in terms of school and our younger daughter who is 15 is graduating from middle school and she needs a uh, different kind of school so we're moving to Portland, Oregon to uh, so she can go to an alternative school that will be much better for her anxiety problems. So we won't be seeing um, my daughter with schizophrenia as often, um, which in a lot of ways would be good for my other kids because they were traumatized over some of the things that happened when she was living here um, and added to some stress and all that. So I think um, the move will be good for that. Uh, I have a 17 year old who's going to be a senior in high school, she'll be switching schools. Um, she is excited. They're, we're going to be in an apartment downtown and they're going to love it, I think. So, my husband's going to love it too. So, I'm going to miss the forest and being near my mom and sister and my daughter. But, um, I'm planning on just taking the bus up the mountain to see them every week. So, but, um, that's about it. I think that, um, Mara has some hallucinations, um, auditory hallucinations occasionally, but nothing that is, um, I'm sorry, not auditory, um, visual, uh, hallucinations, I think. So, I think she said she sometimes can see someone, but they're not talking to her or touching her. So, um, and she's not on clozapine anymore. She's not on any medications, to my knowledge. So, um, the people that she is living with are really good people, um, a good influence on her, have kept her from cutting, have just taken her in, just care about her a lot. Um, but they're pretty against medications. And, um, so she'll probably stay off of medication, so, um, and I'm doing okay, I, I'm excited to be moving and have another sort of time of my life, <laughs> you know, another, it'll be exciting, it'll be something new, um, my husband job is kind of up in the air because another company um, bought the company he's worked for for several years now and so that's a little tense um, 
but you know we'll see how it goes anyway I hope everyone's doing okay um, and I'll keep updating bye